Hello and welcome to the Daily Gamecock Sports Podcast. My name is Chris Cox. I'm the sports editor of the Daily Gamecock alongside James Cratch, my assistant sports editor. We're here talking about USC football's opening game of the 2010 college football season this Thursday night at williams Bryce Stadium against the Southern Miss Golden Eagles. James, how you doing? Doing excellent, Chris. Glad to be here. Glad let's, to be getting going. Let's get right into it here because this has definitely been a concern and a hot topic among uh, the town is the quarterback situation and what mm-hmm. to make of it. Incumbent starter Stephen Garcia, who, start, who started all 13 games last year, nearly threw for 3,000 yards. Uh, in a little bit of a battle with true freshman quarterback Connor Schaaf for the starting job, what do you what do you what do you make of this? What does this tell you about Garcia? What it tells me about Garcia, I mean, I don't think it's tough. I haven't personally had the chance to speak to Steven since we've returned. He hasn't been made available to the media in, I assume, at least two weeks. Um, when this first started during the spring, I thought it was just simply Spurrier trying to motivate Garcia. I think most people thought that. But now I really think that Connor Shaw has played his tail off this summer, and he has been right up there with Steven. I mean, we don't... We haven't seen practice. They haven't opened the scrimmages to the media like they have in past years. But I really think that Shaw probably has played at Garcia's level or above, as Spurrier had said, with the scrimmage play. And I really, as much as I never thought I'd say this, I think there's actually a quarterback battle going on. I think it's interesting, but you know, as, 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 as dedicated as Shaw may be to the film room and to studying the offense, I, I'm wondering how much of this is made how much the struggles of the offensive line is playing into this. And what I mean by that is Steven Garcia is more of your prototypical pocket passer. He's a big-bodied guy. He's not as speedy. Um, he's you know he's not as fleet of foot mm-hmm. as maybe Shaw might be. With all those question marks and struggles surrounding the offensive line, I wonder how much of a leg up Shaw has because of his, his ability to escape the pocket and make something happen with his feet. I mean, I think that might have something to do with it, but at the same time, I think you could argue, you know, Steven's been, you know, running for his life behind the offensive line for going on four years now. You know, I didn't actually see Shaw play in high school ever, a footage when he was at Flowery Branch, but I would assume that his line was pretty good there, because they had a pretty good team, but... I think it could have something to do with that. But then again, I also think it depends on the play calling. We don't see it. You know, Connor was more of a rollout guy. Steven's more of a pocket guy. So it depends on how they call the plays for them. All right, let's get right into it. Which one should start the Southern Miss opener? Personally, I think Steven Garcia should start. He has the experience. He's been there before. He's the incumbent. You know, he had a pretty good season last year. The UConn game aside... You know, he's, he's been through the battles. I just think that the smart call, the right call, the common sense call is to start Garcia. But as we've learned from history, Steve Spurrier doesn't always go with the common sense. Just, you know, ask Tommy Beecher about that. I would agree, and I think I think Garcia should start. But what I would what I would well, what I would enforce is that the first poor decision he makes, Shaw needs to come into the game. Garcia's questionable decision making has kind of been his undoing since he's been here. He's thrown he's thrown a lot of interceptions, a lot of untimely interceptions. You know, look at the Florida game last year, the Alabama game on the opening drive. I think if he if Spurrier wants to send a message to Garcia, who's clearly the best quarterback on this team, he'll yank him after that first mistake because that's what that's what it's going to take to probably get him in line. Okay, let's move on. Biggest questions uh, for the Southern Miss game. What do you think? Who's going to be out there? Yeah, I would agree. I mean, who's who's going to be out there? What's going to happen with the Whitney situation? With the ongoing Wesley Saunders saga? I mean, who's going to be out there? We as the I would assume all points signs point to the NCAA letting USC know what their decision is in terms of the Whitney, in terms of Saunders. I think at that point Spurrier will react to what he does with Saunders on the team front. But that's the biggest question to me. Who's going to be out there? Regardless of the NCAA violations, I don't think Saunders is going to play in this game. Neither I mean, do even I. He, yeah. I mean, he's just he's flat out suspended from the team. That doesn't even evolve around the the Whitney Hotel. My biggest question mark is what's going to shape up the tailback. Everybody's talking about Marcus Lattimore and the, the incumbent. Kenny Miles had a pretty good rookie season last year. No one's really talking as much about him. I'm very... 
I'm very interested to see what happens in Indeed. the ground game. I think uh, I think Kenny will start, but I wouldn't be surprised at him seeing him and Lattimore have about half and half the carries. Maddox real, with the goal line situations, maybe. Real quick, is defense a question mark or concern just based on the injuries they've got right now? I don't think the injuries are a concern, but if you're losing four or five starters because of the other issues, that could be some of a concern. But I think the backups are strong enough. That's a very deep part of the team. I think defense will be... Without a hitch, no matter what. Senior Tony Strader has got some big shoes to fill as the quarterback of the defense at linebacker with Shaq out. He does, although I, I think right now Ellis Johnson told me the other day that Quinn Smith would be the guy that goes in, but they probably would share the reps. All right, well, let's get right into it. Give us your prediction for, th th for th th Thursday night. I think Garcia starts, has a big night, USC wins. 31-14. Your offensive prowess is a little scary to me. I don't think USC's ever shown the ability to score that many points in an opener unless they're, you know, playing Louisiana Lafayette, and even that's been a struggle. Um, but I'm going to say 17-13 to South Carolina. I think the defense uh, stays strong, and the South Carolina offense does just enough in the opener to get the things done. That's enough for us. We'll be back next week to preview the crucial SEC opener against the, Ge against the Georgia Bulldogs. Until then, take care. Take care.